A nice class of uh, senior three-year-old cows. The uh, cow that I'm going to start the class with, it wasn't the easiest class to sort out as I went down through, but as I sorted out to find the cow with the least faults and udder and feet and legs goes a long way with me and mature cows and this cow easily has the best udder in the class. She has that flatness of bone, the cleanness of hock. She has the style, the balance and when you analyze her for me head to tail, she was the soundest and she was the cow that should go to the top of the class. Then I'll follow with a cow in second that's not the biggest cow either amongst these big powerful cows but boy she's got a tide on udder. She's got the style and balance when you get up close on her. She's got all the blending of parts. She's got the same kind of overall style and balance as that first prize cow to go into the second uh, hole today in this class. And you come with a big strong cow. You love this high chine on this cow. You love the frame. You just want to clean her up down through those legs, down through the bone. You want to just uh, tighten the fore rudder up just a bit, but a beautiful suspensory ligament and a cow with a big barrel. Then the cow in fourth, a beautiful long cow. When you get her analyzing her, again, a cow in this class it has got the least faults that can sort herself up into the, the fourth spot today. You come with a cow in fifth. Again, a cow that's got all the quality, dairiness, and the cleanness all the way through to go any higher today in the class. But then the big, strong cow in sixth, a cow that I want to change her feet and legs, how she handles those legs when she walks out, and tighten her four rudder up on the left side, but a nice class of senior threes.